Welcome to the 100 tips and tricks video on Buak. In this video I will share information that will help you survive in Buak and becoming the king of the map. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more guys like this make sure to drop a like let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already each one helps the channel grow its son. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going through another one which is a burning dango PTW. To win this make sure to like, subscribe and comment something below. Chat members also have a higher chance of winning. I am pleased to introduce today's sponsor Pine Hosting. Are you interested in setting up your own answer and server then look no further than pine hosting they offer a variety of game servers including rust arc valheim and minecraft creating your server only takes a few minutes with pine hosting's quick setup process global server locations affordable pricing and built-in workshop and plugin installer if you're interested in taking advantage of this opportunity use the code ldg for a generous 30 percent discount the link can be found in the description below and let's dive straight into the video all around the map you can find all types of wood. Small trees cannot be chopped down but they can give you fruit such as berries, apples and lemons. With these you can start your own farm by growing seeds. Broken down vehicles are all around the map and they can give you important items. The hood can give you vehicle parts that include car tires, batteries, copper wires, spark plugs, axles and from the back you can get backpacks, gas masks, can openers, swift magazines, umbrellas, camp axes, industrial spanners, crowbars, oxygen masks, rope, food, water, hacksaw, paint thinner, glow sticks, socket wrench and much much more. In houses you can break a ton of objects which can give you loot. Windows can give you glass, cupboards can give you a variety of items, most common tools such as duct tape, flashlights, canned food, batteries, glow sticks, mealies and all types of clothes. Cushions can give you cloth, paintings can give you paper, computers give you electrical components, desks give you clothes, mealies and food, med bags can give you painkillers, purification tablets, bandages and cough syrup. Boxes can drop cuts, clothes, mealies, weapons, earpieces, flashlights, rope, revolver magazines, crowbars, bleach, entrenching tools and much more. Glow sticks and paint can be used to get dye and dye is very important to craft a bed. In order to fix your clothes from worn clothing you would need sewing threads. To get sewing threads you would need to salvage worn clothes or if you find cloth you can downgrade the cloth into treads. Inventory storage increases by a ton once you fix all your worn clothes. All clothes also have the same storage space. Sewing threads can be made into cloth, cloth can be made into rope and rope can be made into paracord. Rags only stop a Bleeding. You do not gain any HP once you use them. You can gain HP by using bandages or other medicine. To craft a bandage you would need to craft a rag and use metal scrap. You can craft nails by having wood and scrap metal. You would also need crafting tool and a campfire. You can make nuts and bolts and you would need wood and iron. For this you need a campfire and cooking 3. You can stack wood into a bundle of 10 and this can be placed. Moldy food can be turned into compost. You can also find compost in botanist shops. Compost is used to make fertilizer together with bones and with this you can make plots. You can craft a wooden bow very easily by having wood and rope. Scrap arrows can be crafted with wood and metal. Certain items can be crafted by finding their blueprints first. Once you learn the blueprint you can now craft the item and once you die it will still be learned. To craft a bone bow which is much stronger than a wooden bow you would need to get bones by breaking skeletons on the floor with 10 plastic bottles and 3 duct tape you can craft a water jug. A hacksaw is one of the most important tools in Boak. This can be found in construction areas, vehicle trunks and toolboxes. Hacksaws are used in order to salvage metallic items into metal scrap. A hammer is very important to build bases. A blowtorch is used to craft stronger base parts such as iron and titanium barricades and buildables. With a fork, scrap metal and a blowtorch you can make a bayonet. With a kitchen knife, scrap metal and a blowtorch you can also make another bayonet. A hard beacon is crafted by 8 stacks of titanium, 14 electrical components, 10 electrical wires, 10 nuts and bolts and a blowtorch. From a hard beacon you can get 8 items. These items can include explosive magazines, ammo boxes, normal magazines, cobra pythons, typewriters, nitrators, eagle fires, zubeknokovs, master keys, oak bears, research kits, sentry magazines, timber wolves and much more. Nuts and bolts are used for metal and titanium crates. Metal and titanium display stands, doors, drawbridges, fuel barrels, gates, hatches, hordes, ladders, libraries, mannequins, sentries, timer explosive chargers, and shutters. Nails are used for wooden crates, wooden display stands, planters, plots, wooden shacks, and much more. Caltrops can be salvaged into nails. Sealed canned food can be opened by many tools, including carving knives, combat knives, Swiss army knives, kitchen knives, noodle knives, can openers, OTF knives, and pretty much any other knife. Duct tape is used to make makeshift silencers, zoomantic, sentries, lead pipe shotguns, fixing most melees, dynamite explosives, fixing oxygen clothes, and much more. Glass is used for solar panels and bulletproof glass buildables. Entrenching tools are used to get sand and sand can be cooked into glass. You can craft tools such as scrap metal hatchet and scrap metal pickaxe with scrap metal and wood. You can stack a lot of items including titanium, sulfur, silver, scrap, sand, rock, paper, ores, iron, gunpowder, gold, electrical wires, electrical components, copper, compost, coal and bones. 
when you kill an animal you get its corpse from these animal corpses you can get different outcomes depending on the tool that you use there are multiple animals in the map the bears goats skinwalkers moose and the wolf will all attack you and they are all very quick from the mines you can get a lot of good ores such as iron copper rocks coal zinc silver pyromorphite pyrite and much more to get sulfur ore and titanium ore you would need to go deeper into the mines and you'd also need an oxygen mask and an oxygen tank in the mines you can find oxygen masks oxygen tanks bottled air pickaxes and clothes you can use a mine cart to move quicker in the mines and if you press shift you go quicker from the mines you can also get access to the dead zone titanium is used for fixing attachments together with the blowtorch and engineer 3 you also need titanium to make bulletproof gloss with a riot helmet and six titanium you can make a titanium riot helmet you can also upgrade a riot vest and a titanium riot vest with 10 titanium if you salvage titanium riot vest you get aramid aramid is used to fixing titanium clothing and riot clothing research kits can be used for many items including all attachments chain link fences camp stoves external rock gates external rock walls generators oxygen generators great roof, barbed wire barricades, work lights, ammunition boxes, car parts, vehicle manuals, weapons, melees, clothes, gas cans, glow sticks, grenades, gas masks, fireworks, hunting arrows, filters, flashlights, and much more. You can customize a lot of items with different colors including weapons and lasers. You can also craft a housing planner with 4 iron, 2 copper, 8 components, 2 wires, tactical rangefinder, and 2 batteries. You would also need to stack rocks in order to build stone walls. The same goes for other materials. You can build items such as half walls, half ramparts, half doorways, and half roofs. The dead zone has three levels. In order to access the first level, you need to get a key card, which is very close to the entrance. To access level 2 and level 3, you would also need to find the key cards as well. In level 1, you can find the level 2 card, and level 2, you can find the level 3 card. It is important that if you go to level 2 and 3, that you wear biohazard clothing, or else you will die. You can find biohazard clothing by killing zombies or punching them when they're hanging. The best loot in the dead zone is in level 2. You can get items such as weapons, attachments, ammunition, and right clothing. If you salvage biohazard clothing, you get tarps. Tarps is used to make ring collectors, water barrels and fixed biohazard clothing. Quartz is used to make solar panels. You can craft gyrocopters which is also a three-seater and this can be painted like all other vehicles. You can craft vehicles in Boak with a vehicle manual blueprint. The best outfits are as follows, a makeshift vest and a traffic cone, civilian vest and hard hat, police vest and fire person helmet, a riot vest and riot helmet, and the strongest is a titanium riot vest and titanium riot helmet. Polymer is used to craft buckshots and slugs. You can stack polymer. You can craft a research kit with 3 blueprint libraries and 3 titanium. Research kits can drop from vaults. You can find guns that have a magazine in it, but you can also get guns without a magazine. To craft a map, you'd also need to get to all 4 towns to get the blueprint fragment for the area, and once you get all 4, you can make the full map. Paper is used to craft dynamite and stacks of paper which is used for libraries. If you salvage a landmine you can get gunpowder. Fireworks also give a gunpowder. You get gunpowder by cooking charcoal and sulfur. Grenades can give you gunpowder. Smoke grenades also can give you gunpowder. To craft a hot potato you need a potato, dynamite explosives and 4 stack of gunpowder. Charges on this map can be placed and also thrown. And to craft this you would need stacks of gunpowder, dynamite, electrical components, polymer, nuts and bolts and stacks of copper. You can also raid with explosive ammunition. You can break wooden crates with melee weapons. The shadowy monsters in the dead zone can drop ammunition boxes, explosive ammunition, and weapons. Construction zombies can drop steely wheelie automobiles. On this map, the dead zone is marked on the map, and it is this entrance. From the farm, you can get crossbows and hunting bows, which is much stronger than a wooden bow or a bone bow. You can put scopes on pistols. You can run and aim while using certain pistols. You can find the level 4 keycard in the Scorpion 7 mansion, and it's in the wardrobe at the top floor. In the Scorpion 7 mansion, you can find the mega zombie. Biohazard zombies can drop gas masks as well. Big men can contain items such as master keys, gas masks, filters, hunting balls, blueprint books, pristine gun parts, oak bears, attachments, electrical components, electrical wires, and much more. If you learn a blueprint book, you will get a random blueprint in your inventory. Pristine gun parts are used to make spot cannons. If you salvage gas masks, you will get polymer. Disposable cameras are flashbangs. If you salvage a disposable camera, you will get 6 electrical components. If you consume hot sauce, you are literally a campfire and can cook stuff. Big mans are obviously opened by explosions. You can salvage blueprints you already found, and they will be turned into blueprint fragments. With 6 blueprint fragments, you can make a blueprint book. If you salvage guns, you will get gun parts. With these scrap gun parts, you can make pristine gun parts. With copper and a blowtorch, you can make bullet casings. To craft a detonator, you need polymer, a stack of electrical components, copper, and batteries. The only way to get the grizzly is from airdrops. And that is it ladies and gentlemen and I hope that you guys did learn something new. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section below and I will try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.